Black Hawk Down, John Madden, and the Pledge of Allegiance are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is December 28th, 2022. It is the 362nd day of the year. You got three days left. What's going to be your New Year's resolution? This year, I'm going sugar free. Last few months, I've gotten away from sugar and I've had whole months where I hadn't had any sugar and I just shredded weight. And then something happens, I start eating sugar again and the weight comes right back on. But I'm going to do everything I can to cut down my sugar like next to nothing. Now, when you do that, and I'm not a fitness person, but it's my understanding that it's just sugar that is added to food. You still should eat fruit and stuff or can eat fruit. It's just when they're adding sugar to things, refined sugar, that's when it's really really, really bad. But yeah, that's my New Year's resolution. Today's the eighth day of winter and there's 82 days left until spring. Today is National Pledge Allegiance Day. For many of us, the Pledge of Allegiance was something we knew by heart and recited each morning in school. I remember that. That probably ended. I think we still said that up until about fifth or sixth grade, maybe. I never said it in high school or anything like that, but I was probably grammar school was the last time I did that. Anyway, moving on. With our right hand over our hearts and our eyes cast upward to the flag on the wall, we were taught to show our patriotism. The history of the pledge is long and fraught with controversy in recent years, so no individual American's experience is universal. Today, the Pledge of Allegiance goes as follows. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seems like the one I said when I was a kid. The first Pledge of Allegiance was penned in 1885 by Civil War veteran Colonel George Balk. But that one shares almost zero similarities to the Pledge of Allegiance that we all did when we were in school. The current one was penned around 1892. Over the late 1800s and early 1900s, the pledge was widely adopted in schools. Small tweaks were made to the text, but the meaning remained unchanged. For example, today we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, which wasn't always the case. The National Flag Conference added the phrase of the United States of America in 1923, and they made another tweak in 1924. Congress formally adopted the Pledge of Allegiance in 1942, declaring that it should be recited with one's right hand over their heart. One of the most significant changes occurred in 1954 when President Eisenhower asked Congress to add the controversial phrase, under God, to the text. This was an effort to differentiate, I can't even speak today, the American way in communist times. There's also been great debate over whether schools should require children to recite the pledge, and this was even before the religious addition to the pledge. One 1940 ruling which compelled children to say the Pledge of Allegiance every single morning was quickly overturned by 1943. Jehovah's Witnesses presented significant challenges to the mandatory pledge in the 1930s and 1940s as they found it went against their religious beliefs. In 2004, there was a ruling that children did not have to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance anymore. This followed a 2002 Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal case in which an atheist wasn't too keen on his daughter having to stand and pledge allegiance to God or the United States. Now, over the years, there's been many challenges to this and most of them related to the under God part. The most recent 2015 ruling stated that the phrase did not violate any atheist rights. The atheists didn't have to say it, but they couldn't stop other people from saying it. Very interesting. I always thought it was a little weird. I mean, I'm a very, I, you know, I'm very pro-American. I was in the military. My whole family's done the military thing, but I just always felt like the Pledge of Allegiance reminded me of something they would do in Soviet Union or something like that. I pledge allegiance to the fatherland or motherland or whatever, that type thing. But that's just my opinion. All right, let's see what else December 28th has given us. 1836, Spain recognizes the independence of Mexico with the Santa Maria Calatrava, I hope I pronounced that right, treaty. 1941, World War II, Operation Anthroid, the plot to assassinate high-ranking Nazi officer Reinhard Heydrich commences. They didn't get him till June 4th, 1942, in Prague. 1967, American businesswoman Muriel Siebert becomes the first woman to own a seat on the New York Stock Exchange. 1973, the United States Endangered Species Act is signed into law by President Richard Nixon. Oddly enough, Richard Nixon, for all his faults, he did a lot of things for the environment and, you know, endangered species, things like that. A lot of people don't know that. All they know is Watergate. And he wasn't that great of a president, but he did do some things that were decent. 
Movies released on December 28th, 2001, Black Hawk Down. U.S. Special Forces are sent to Somalia to destabilize the government, but find themselves in an unexpected war with heavily armed Somalian forces. The film was based on the nonfiction book of the same name by Mark Bowden. Great movie, even more interesting story of the real events. It was amazing. Sad, but amazing. The film marks Tom Hardy's film debut. There were some big names in this movie. Tom Hardy, Ewan McGregor, Ty Burrell, Josh Hartnick, Jeremy Piven, John Sizemore, George Harris, Sam Shepard, Orlando Bloom, Eric Bana, Ron Ellard, who for some reason, I've been to Vegas three different times where people thought I was actually Ron Ellard. Kim Coates, who's a pretty good actor, he was in this. Not a lot of people know who he is, but he played a good part in the movie Open Range. That was the Kevin Costner Western. But when they're about to have the big shootout, Kevin Costner walked towards the people they were about to have the shootout with and goes, you the one that shot my friend? And the guy goes, yeah, I did. And I liked it. That was uh, Kim Coates. And Kevin Costner then shoots him in the forehead. Great scene. If you've never seen the movie Black Hawk Down, I would suggest seeing it. It's a little bloody. It's a little scary, but it's historic. It's a true story based on true story. They have several books on the subject, but I will leave a link down down below for the actual book Black Hawk Down. It's actually called Black Hawk Down, A Story of Modern War. Born on December 28, 1978, John Legend, R&B singer and pianist who scored his first big hit with the 2005 single Ordinary People. He has collaborated with acclaimed artists such as Jay-Z and Kanye West. Wow, I don't know if I'd be putting that on my resume anymore. Anyway, in 2018, he made history as the first black man to win an EGOT award for his role and producer in the musical Jesus Christ Superstar. He's actually a very, very intelligent guy. He's not just a musician. He graduated from high school and was accepted to several Ivy League schools. He is married to model Chrissy Teigen. Died on December 28th, 2021, John Madden. Legendary NFL football coach and commentator, best known for appearing on Monday Night Football. He won a Super Bowl as head coach of the Oakland Raiders. He played college football at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. He was afraid to fly. He had his own train car that, I don't know if you guys know you could do this, but you could rent out your own train car. They've got these really nice ones. They're usually older, but you could like uh, rent them and they will connect it to a Amtrak and wherever that Amtrak's going, it'll take your car with you. Well, he had his own car and he used to travel around like that. He was also the face and name of John Madden Football, which is one of the most successful video games ever. John Madden died of undisclosed causes at his home in Pleasanton, California on December 28, 2021. He was 85 years old. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day and be nice to each other.